The Honourable Member for Calgary, Fish Creek. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This government's budget is no surprise, with ever-increasing spending and borrowing void by unrealistic oil price projections. U of C economist Dr. Trevor Toome points out that West Texas Intermediate Futures remain stagnant through 2020 at around $50 per barrel. And yet the government is projecting WTI prices of $55, $59 and $68 per barrel in that same period. Yeah. To the Minister of Finance, even with your risk adjustment, what will the additional debt burden be if oil prices match market predictions, not your questionable thumbnailing? Very much. As, as the Premier has already indicated today, the approach that the government has taken is prudent and conservative with respect to predicting oil <laughs> prices. And moreover, Mr. Speaker, risk adjustments have been built into the budget, and uh, I think the, uh, the Honourable Member is just trying to sow uh, fear and distrust, but uh, I think that this government is right on track, Mr. Speaker. Our budget is going to make life better for Alberta families in a thousand ways, Mr. Speaker. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given with that even with risk adjustments, Albertans will be $3.5 billion further in the hole than budgeted if oil prices remain at $50 per barrel. And given over-projecting the price of oil by $5, $9, $18 and $18 represents a significant risk to Alberta's finances, that Don Braid opened his budget column with, the NDP had better be right or this province is screwed. Sure. Again to the Minister, have you overinflated oil prices to mask the fact that your spending is even more out of control than the irresponsible billions presented in red ink last week? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Honourable Minister Speaker, no. <laughs> How about 10.3 billion? Second supplement. Always great to get a straight answer. Mr. Speaker, given that we continuously hear this government state they are getting off the oil roller coaster. Honorable member, again, know the preamble comments at the front end, please. Keep going. And given that in his McLean's column, Dr. Toome stated the government's projection for gradually declining deficits is entirely driven by rising future oil prices. Again, to the minister, either there are additional revenue sources that Dr. Toome has missed or your government has been spinning a line which is demonstrably false. Which is it? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, well, neither. And I happen to read the article by uh, Dr. Tubman. One of the things that he makes uh, very clear is that the opposition's claims that doomsday is around the corner as a result of the government's budget are completely false, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> 